Parkers. It's Sunday and after a day of absolutely torrential rain, it is 55 degrees and beautifully sunny. So guess what we're doing? We are metal detecting again today. So excited. We are at the spot where last week, I, not last week, a couple of weeks ago, I found the silver half dollar from 1942. So we're gonna go see if lightning can strike twice in the woods today. And just look how pretty this is. So, I don't know if you can see, I'll get my shadow out of the way. But there's our first crocuses of the spring. I'm so happy. Anyway, so we are gonna wait for Paul who's just parked in the car and we're gonna be heading over that bridge and into the woods to see what we can find. So we will uh, check in again at our first peak. So this is the Ripawan River. Runs through Stanford, uh, through North Stanford, it's one of the little creeks or rivers up here. Anyway, it is probably twice as high as it normally is today and running pretty fast. So it's, um, yeah, we had a lot of rain yesterday. Oh, I don't know if you can see over there in the woods, right here. You see like a haze of purple. There's a ton more crocuses over there that have just bloomed. Oh, it's so good to have spring in the air. So there's crocuses everywhere, which is super pretty. Um, and we're just walking through the woods now. Um, I'm not sure what was here before, but everything I found, and this is my third trip here. Um, I, don't know, I think this is like an old drain, probably from when they were building the Merrick. That road up there, that's the Merrick Parkway. So you might not be able to hear me very well, and I apologize. Um, but everything I found so far, oh, there's some deer prints. I don't think you can see it. That's some deer prints in the woods, so we're not the first people here today. Oh, and some teeny little prints. Um, yes, yeah, so everything I found here has been between the 1920s and the 1940s, so it's very cool. So, whatever was happening then, I think it was either people hunting in these woods or maybe the people building the Merritt because the Merritt was actually built in the 1920s as a replacement for the post road I'm not sure how long that replacement lasted but now we have I-95 as well 95, the Merritt and the post road basically go from Maine to Florida for the most part kind of cool, kind of a cool history of the area so yeah, we're going to keep walking to our spot and I will check in again signal right here um, in this hole. We've dug a bunch of nails up so I didn't video any of that because or record any of that because it was um, kind of boring. Uh, anyway, we found these two things in this little hole here. I'm not quite sure what it is. It obviously looks like something electrical. It's like a porcelain attachment. Um, so I clean it up and then there's this kind of this actually looks like a something you would put a a rope through, a rope or a pulley. So yeah, clean those up when we get home, see what they are, maybe. <laughs> we didn't find this. So we obviously found like an old dump. Like this bed spring, I don't know if you can see it. This is an old mattress. See the springs and the coils there, and I don't know. When I did some research about this, I did see, I did research on this site, and I did see what looked like a building in the woods here so it could have been someone living here and this is their trash there's a huge metal cable over there you can see it like right here there's like a big metal huge like a, each, easily two inches pipes so yeah we're not going to metal detect here because um yeah it's trash <laughs> a bit and we my mum found uh this old shoe it's a plastic shoe everything's plastic even the heel i don't know what that says right there i can't quite make it out but it's an eight regular it's a tiny little shoe so yeah it's weird so there's a bed here there must have been some kind of house or something here so we might find the trash pit around here somewhere so yeah that's yeah, it's pretty cool actually <laughs> this is a shoe
one of the craziest metal detecting um, finds so far. I'm not, I'm not going to say it ever because who knows, we might get some more crazy stuff. But uh, we found a tricycle, <laughs> a really old tricycle. There's the wheel, there's one wheel, two wheels, there's the third wheel. And yep, there's the, the bit you stand on and the handlebar. You got the hand, handlebars. And the pedals, the pedal here and the pedal here. That is, that is an old trike. This is the, um, this is what's left. This is what's left of the seat. And there's the, uh, the springs. But yeah, I, um, I guess we're gonna just have to bury it because we can't take that home. It's way too heavy, but that's pretty cool. <laughs> That's wild. <laughs> Craziest dig ever. Nope, can't say ever. We're going to find something crazier at some point. All it a day. We um, had no no great finds, no coins today. Lots of um, old, old trash and a trike. <laughs> and a big branch fell off this tree, which we were pretty lucky we went standing under that when that happened. And actually, I think it was this one, yeah. So this big branch just fell. So that was uh, a bit of a scary moment. But that is it for today. I'm going to go home and see if I can find out anything about that bike that we found, which is unusual. And um, yeah, I guess we'll hopefully better luck next time. So thanks for watching, Lucas. We'll see you soon. And if you like our videos, don't forget to like and subscribe and hit that, um, hit that bell down there for notifications because now spring is hitting. We will be out and about a lot more. Hopefully get some mud in there as well. Um, over at Dead Horse Bay at some point. So yeah, thanks again for watching. We appreciate all the support. We'll see you soon.